How's it going, Japan Trail Cam? Thanks again for joining us on another episode, doing another podcast style, and starting it off with a couple of badgers here. Um, and they make some interesting sounds here. And uh, let's give it a listen in the next couple of seconds here. Uh, I think it's the badgers making these sounds. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Here it comes. Did you guys hear those little grunts and little gurgles? Uh, again, I'm not sure if those are the badgers making those sounds, but I thought it was interesting and whatnot. So, moving on to the next clip here, we have a mama boar and a couple piglets coming up. I think these are probably going to be last year's piglets. They don't seem like newborns. Um, they are a little bit mature, but still hanging around with mama. Interesting enough, I think there's a little family group because we have this mama and three little piggies and right after that in the same clip we got another mama and two babies so little, little family group there uh i wonder and uh yeah this week it's going to be a little bit of a shorter video uh and that's because i took a gamble on 50 percent battery power well at least the trail cam said it was 50 percent but i'm imagining that it was probably less than that um and uh the batteries just died out on me so i did get very many clips um, this week, and they were all pretty much boar, wild boar, uh, those badgers, and I think I got a crow, uh, coming up in the next clip, but that happens sometimes in this trail cam hobby, um, you know, the trail cams will malfunction, or the batteries will run out, or maybe there's an SD card problem, or even sometimes if it gets too cold, um, another thing that happens is animals will knock your trail cam, um, you know, knock your trail cam over or just knock it off angle uh and uh you just don't get anything but uh that's part of the fun um of the uh the, the hobby here um setting it up for two weeks leaving it out in the forest out in the woods to see what happens see what it catches um and sometimes uh, you have some failures but all you got to do is uh you know set it back up and try to find another good spot and hope for the best uh what do we got here? Oh, here's our crow. Here's our crow friend. I think he's probably taking a drink out of this uh, this mud hole here. Uh, these holes were made by the wild boar uh, that roll in the mud uh, to uh, rid themselves of pests and whatnot. And I think we'll see that in the next clip of them actually doing it. But I always think it's interesting how other animals uh, rely and depend on and adapt to the behaviors of the wild boar in this area. And he flies off, yeah. Yep, here we are. Here's our wild boar. He's going to get in there and roll around the mud like pigs do. Um, and you get a good um, uh, good show for you guys here uh, to see, again, how the wild boar shaped the landscape. Look at him going wild there. Rubbing, rubbing. Scratching, scratching. And they'll do this all year around. Pushing around mud, you know. Later on in the video, uh, it's rainy, and that fills up with water, and another boar gets a drink out of it. So, really interesting, yeah? Another little baby boar just kind of trotting around back there. Uh, here we are with another little bit of a wild boar. I think I zoom in here. Ah, here's the rainy clip, yeah? It just hops over the log there. A little hop over the log, and kind of trots on with his day. I think he kind of goes back and scratches on a tree back there. You can kind of see a tree moving around um, in the back corner there. Maybe a little bit when he's kind of, I don't know, scratching around, sniffing or something like that. Yeah. Some good rainy day sounds, and he just kind of wanders off. Oh, he, there it is. Here's the one right after that rainy clip. A wild boar is taking a drink right out of that same spot that somebody was rolling around in. So they use these um, spots quite a bit. And we get a good look at the camera peeking at us there. Some nice little tusks there. Not a very big wild boar, but uh, uh, probably going to grow up to be a little bit bigger than this. Probably, you know, a little bit bigger there. 
But uh, yeah, that is going to bring us almost to the end here of uh, this video. Um, check out some of our other videos. We literally have hundreds of videos, uh, some that are much longer than this, much shorter than this. Um, but a good look at Japanese wildlife here in southern Japan. Do all that YouTube stuff, like, comment, and subscribe. Helps us keep bringing weekly Wild Valley videos to you from our patch of the woods here in Japan. And uh, check out these videos off to the side here. And uh, we'll catch you on the next adventure. Have a great day.